Today we will be demonstrating the Worth Four Dot Test. This simple test is used to evaluate the binocular status of the patient. By completing this test, the patient's degree of binocular vision can be determined. As you can see, the Worth Four Dot has one red dot, two green dots, and one white dot. The patient wears red-green glasses with the red over their right eye. By using the red-green glasses, the patient's eyes are dissociated. The patient's right eye with the red lens will see the red dot, while the green lens over the left eye will be seeing the green dots. The white dot will either be red or green, depending on the patient's um, dominant eye. Knowing this is important in order to con correctly interpret the results of the test. Depending on the circles the patient sees, this indicates the presence of an eye turn or suppression of one eye. If the left eye is suppressed, the patient will report only seeing two red circles. The patient is only looking through the red lens. If the right eye is suppressed, the patient will report seeing three green dots. The patient is only looking through the green lens with their left eye. The patient may also report seeing five dots. This indicates diplopia, or double vision. This means that the patient has atropia, one of their eyes is turned out, either exotropia or esotropia. If it is exo, the patient will have cross diplopia. Cross diplopia means that the right eye's image, the two red dots, will be seen to the left, while the left eye's image, the three green dot dots, will be seen to the right. If the patient is ESO, this means that they have uncrossed diplopia. That means the right eye's image, once again, those two red dots are going to be seen to the right, while the left eye's image, the three green dots, will be seen to the left. First, we're going to perform this four, worth four dot test at 40 centimeters. How many dots do you see? I see four. And what are the colors of the dots? Um, I see one red one and... Um, three green ones. All right, so that would be a normal flat feature. And now we will be testing the worth four dot at one meter to see if uh, how large the scotoma is, if there is one present. How many dots do you see? I see four dots. And what color are the dots? I see one red one and three green. All right, so normal flat fusion. You can also perform the worth four dot test in the dark to see how deep the suppression is. If a patient with a known strabismus neither sees double nor has suppression, this could indicate the patient has adapted and has anom anomalous retinal correspondence, where the patient uses an area other than the phobia with binoc binocular viewing. In conclusion, now you know how to do the Worth 4 dot test. <laughs>